This is actually going to be one of my favorite videos, I reckon. I'm so excited to film this video. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm so excited to film this video. I'm really excited to film this. I'm so excited to film this video. As you can tell, this video needs to be filmed today. Look at us. <laughs> Normally with like get ready with me's, right? It's always like the makeup first. But like if you have curls, you know. Now the fan in this bathroom does not turn off. It turns on with the light. So... Yep, another voiceover. I don't know if you're curious or this is really boring. I'm just showing you some of the products that we use in our little shower routine. For a curly girl, this is our go-to conditioner, basically. It's a treatment, but we use it as like a conditioner because we, we need something really moisturizing. So this is the holy grail of our hair routine. The Spiralicious Styling Gel. This is what we put in after the shower. Yeah, I had to crop this footage because my towel was dropping and literally my tip was showing. So I put like quite a bit of the styling product in my hair. I kind of just put a little bit at a time and I just go through. Um, I do one side and I also, okay, this is actually a new thing that I do in my curly hair routine. I brush the curls through, like using the styling product, I brush it through. Also another little trick, I actually go back with the deep treatment and I put a tiny bit, as you can see, Anyway, this is how I'm doing it. Yeah, I scrunch it through. So I put that tiny bit of deep treatment and I just like scrunch my hair and I find this moisturizes my curls so much more. Like I didn't actually do this. We've already put a curly hair routine video up and a few things have changed. So we really need to update that actually. But yeah, that's what we've been doing. All right. Oh my God, I look like a man, like bald. We're getting into the habit of an eye mask. Yeah, I know. There's actually something about it, like you feel so nice after an eye mask. Why do you like this? Huh? I don't know. Oh, <clears throat> smells nice. Oh, wow. I actually kind of struggled to put eye masks on because I always put it too close to my eye. And then like they also slip and I get all like, no. There we go. So I want it over the entire bag. See? Did it again. We didn't actually tell you where we're going tonight and what we're getting ready for. Oh yeah. It's like the most introverted night out that we could literally do. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> yeah, so we're going out tonight together. It's our little date night, because we don't have boys. Single, ready to mingle. I just bought gold class tickets to Batman, the new Batman. The only thing is apparently it's three hours long, but I feel like that's perfect for gold class because mm. I could spend three hours in the gold class environment. I agreed. Oh, sorry about that. We're gonna eat dinner in the gold class. We're gonna have a wine. It's just gonna be a nice little vibe in there, but we're gonna go early so then we can have a look around it in the shop. I know, I kinda wanna like buy a few. So much money, hey. Anyway, the next step to our hair routine is to diffuse our hair. So we're gonna diffuse our hair right now uh, with this eye mask on. It's actually really important mm. to focus on the health of your skin because your makeup's not gonna sit right on your face if you don't, you know. Mm -hmm. Use nice skincare products, moisturize your face, do an eye mask, and then your makeup will look better. Even better. Yeah, All right. Oh, these pants I got from Kmart, and they're actually like undies. Really? Yeah, look how small they are, right up the arsehole. I'm only gonna be wearing this, these pants in this room. It's so boring diffusing my hair. My hair. I know. You can't even watch YouTube because you can't dread it. it every time. I know. Okay, so it's still like slightly, slightly wet. wet yeah. It's not like dry, dry, but it's just gonna dry on its own. Mm. So we're in a bit of a rush. We're not gonna do like a full on makeup. We're not gonna be here for like a couple of hours doing our makeup. So yeah. we're gonna just keep it kind of basic. Okay, also I just wanna say like a quick, um, what's the word? Disclaimer. Disclaimer. We um, don't do makeup. Like we don't know what we're doing and we don't we never wear heavy makeup we don't even put foundation on like i recently bought my first little tub of foundation i only conceal like little blemishes so i'm thinking like should i try foundation tonight oh <laughs> never wear foundation fuck it let's just do it. use it we need to moisturize first just like a really thin amount yeah i bought this two days ago so like never used it before hey, we need to take these off eh? oh i need like a bin right beside this desk yeah yeah, so this is the ordinary moisturizer. Looks like that. Yeah, is it new? I think so. The ordinary natural moisturizer factors 
plus HA surface hydration formula. Also, I'm never this brown in the face. <laughs> I use tanning drops. Um, I've been like getting hooked to tanning drops because every time the tan starts to rub off, I feel like a pale pasty motherfucker. These are the tanning drops I use and I actually love them. I actually oh. use the light. I bought medium for the first time when I bought this. So I'll give the medium a go. I can't pack them all like an it because mm. I put the light on and then I had to do it twice. I put it on again mm. and then and then I liked it. So, so I definitely need to go with the medium. Scared to do the foundation. Have right. you got a little, little stash of makeup? Okay, so this is Jasmine's room. She's got the fancy makeup desk and then I I still sit on the floor and do my makeup and my makeup's in these two random bags. Um, that was gifted. Both of these were gifted by Georgia. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm using them, Georgia. Love them. So what's first? Like honestly, I don't know, like there's rules to makeup and oh, I don't know. Okay. Them. Let's start with the foundation. I actually think like let, we have to act pro and then you're going to be a pro at makeup. You're going to okay. like be like I'm confident in, in what you're doing. Like you know what you're doing. Don't be like, I'm so new. I don't know what yeah, I'm doing. That. No, we okay, know what we're doing. There is one thing is if we're doing a heavy eye, you'd want to do your foundation after the eyeshadow. All right. Um, haven't used this before. Oh no, we have used this. Amy recommended it. It's oh, Fit yeah. Me. It's from Priceline, so it's on the cheaper side. But it's Fit Me Maybelline, is it? Uh, I have no idea. It says Fit Me. Yeah, we got the 120. Maybelline. Yeah. New York. Yeah. So you're supposed to actually wet your sponge. I don't want to wet it. It's, yeah, I don't want to wet it either, but apparently it makes it stick on your face better. God, all these things I don't know. All right. She's wet. That's moist. All right. Now what? Do you just tip it on there? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I think you just tip it on like that. Oh, okay. See? And then you just dab away. Oh, God. Why am I doing this again? For fun. <laughs> it goes everywhere, hey, including under the eyes. Uh huh. Oh, my God. I'm thinking I like foundation. Mm, Actually, smells no, no. like skin. I didn't like foundation because I always broke out every time I use foundation. And then Amy was like, are you using a dewy foundation or a matte foundation? I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm using a matte foundation. Anyway, dewy is the way to go because you can just put a powder over the dewy foundation and then it'll look like matte. Mm. When you use a matte foundation, it kind of clogs your pores and it's gonna make you break out. So you need to use a dewy one because that allows your skin to like breathe a little better. Yeah, mm -hmm. just in case you didn't know. I like this one. I think so I'm only really gonna do a light coverage. Yeah, this I think I'm it. done. Like this is good. All right, Same. put All that right. lid on. This is a good job. Wait. Feel the difference between a wet sponge. Oh, that's <laughs> just nice. Nah. Kosas. I know it's a TikTok thing, but I didn't know it was a TikTok thing until I walked into Mecca and someone's like, like the lady was like, we recommend this. And I love it. It's, it's so good. So while Jazz is using the TikTok famous concealer, <laughs> I'm using the Tarte. I'm using this one and all oh, the colors at the bottom. I was like, where do you put the color? That's the color I'm using just in case you're wondering. So when we like plan to film this video, we're like, do we like talk about something? Like, do we do like a Q and A on like, Instagram and then like answer questions? Wait, I saw someone put concealer up here, so now I'm doing it. Where? Oh, and here, apparently. <gasps> oh, and here, I think. Why? And here. Oh, wait, wait, what? Whoa, it blends so much better when your sponge is damp. We'll either, yeah, gonna do a Q and A thingy, but then we're like, I don't like planned videos. Just like, like too just, staged. I feel like I'm such a big talker. We're both really big talkers that we don't need to plan what we're gonna talk about. No, like on YouTube. Oh, uh -huh. we should have used this concealer. Why? Because you would like it a lot. Oh, really? So much more. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a pig. You know, we're not big talkers in public. Yeah. Like if you meet us in pub, um, we'll be like, not saying anything because we're like kind of shy. I don't know. But then on YouTube, this is actually us though. We are big talkers. When we're comfortable. When we're comfortable. Right, is that blended in good? Wait, why do I look so pale? Pasty. I know. We don't look like that, guys. I think it's the light bulbs. Next is powder. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? We use the same powder. We're using the Too Faced Born This Way powder. We don't have a um, illuminator. I don't know what that is, sorry. It's like a, <laughs> a powder <laughs> that you put on with, like, a sponge. And you, like, set your... Like, it really, like... Pops. Oh my god, I didn't even put primer on, idiot. I don't even have primer. I always put primer on. Oh, look at us go. Oh no. Oh, Renee in the kitchen mentioned... Wait, do you want to talk about insecurities in this video? Oh, okay, it was going to be a separate video. No, I was like writing down some video ideas. And then I thought, talking about 
our insecurities because everyone has insecurities on their body like physical insecurities but as well as non-physical mm. and i was like oh why don't we make a video on that like we could talk about insecurities to make people feel better and now maybe we might just talk to you about them now i don't know yeah it's like everyone has insecurities and like no one talk like feels like you can't talk about it because mm. you're being like a negative nancy but like sometimes hearing someone else's better. insecurities makes you feel oh i didn't even show you i used two faced i already showed them oh. and i used two faced bronzer this packaging is everything <laughs> yeah i really like that uh, i'm using this it's bare min bare minerals what the <laughs> it's lost minerals what's bare minerals it is a thing oh this is actually way too big oh god okay what were we saying oh yeah insecurities we feel like Talking about insecurities can kind of make someone else feel better. When I hear someone tell them, tell me their insecurities, yeah, I just feel better about my insecurities, I guess. And like, we need to get over them. And to be honest, why are they our insecurities is my question. So let's start with the first insecurity of mine is, I'm just going to say it. This is like the biggest one. <laughs> really? My hairy arms. I was considering getting them waxed, but trust me, I'm still thinking about it. I got my arms waxed. I got my arms. Oh, yeah, I, can, I can even. No. I'm not gonna go like get them like, like straight Look, away. We have very hairy arms. Like really hairy. Look at them. Mine are hair more hairy than yours. Are they? Yeah. I just do it here. See those tunnels there? I make them deeper. I'm scared that I'm gonna use bronzer and make my face look dirty. The same. Where else do you put it? She's going for it. That will do, donkey. That will do. Whoa. She's going for the tiny, tiny nose. No, it like gives it shape. I'm not kidding. Okay. Speaking of noses, that is my other insecurity. Oh. <laughs> Jasmine has some. Oh, wow. You look so. Mm. This is my dad's nose. <laughs> Thanks, dad. No, but it's a man. Looks good on a man. Now, my other insecurity is I've got one really nice side that I like. I like that side of my face. And then the other side, I'm like, what is that? Everyone has that. Like, this is my good side. That's my good side in the camera. Like, yeah, beautiful. And then that side's like, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Only you would notice that. You just laughed at it. No, I'm laughing because it's like, boom. Okay, blush time. <laughs> I'm using this one and I actually really like it. Jeez. But the thing is, this is the first blush that I've ever used in my entire life and I have it's not very tried pink. anything. Hang on, let me open it. Oh, it wasn't Ooh. open. Still kind of pink though, eh? Very pink. Mine's like that too. Mine's peachy. Exactly Where'd you get yours from? Uh, from a retreat yourself box. Oh, it's called Mellow. Not sure where you can buy it. I put the blush where I get sunburn because I love that look. How good do you look when you get like sunburn? sunburn? Or like if you're working out heavy and you look in the mirror and you're all pink and you're like, natural blush. Yeah. See, I like blush to be kind of like all over this part of the face, like all over this bit. You do like a triangle. You know those people who put just blush there? And I'm like, I don't really vibe with it. Oh god, I'm going all out with the blush. Look at this. Oh, it looks so funny. Where else do you put it? On the chin? Really? Hmm. I'm allergic to something because I'm like, ah, itchy. I'm literally just gonna like do this. <laughs> Alright, no. So we're gonna go in with the um, eyeshadow. This is the only palette that I own, so this is the palette I'm gonna use. This is the only palette I own. <laughs> <laughs> you as well? Yeah. It's a Morphe. Why does eyeshadow smell so good? Like caramel Maybe lattes. That one does. Ooh. I've got the Morphe palette. It doesn't smell. So I'm gonna use these. This one and this one. These two. I'm gonna go with brown. All right, Jasmine, swing your eyebrows. I like to do them last. So I'm using the billion dollar brows. Don't the only one I've used ever. Okay, so what I do with my eyeshadow is I dip my brush into the the dark shadow and then I actually just put majority of my eyeshadow in the corner of my eye. So I'm just gonna like, I just dab. I hate that. No, it's because the Inspired Unemployed um, just did it, yeah. I dab the corner of my eye and die. <laughs> and then see, so yeah, it's like real heavy, but I'm just gonna like blend it all the way over there and I'm just gonna keep blending that and bringing it up. My shadow makes me so nervous. I know, it's the most scariest part of the routine. Not kidding, I'll sit here for 30 minutes blending my eyeshadow. Same. I'll just be sitting here doing this, trying to get that line to just piss off. Yeah. Eyeshadow is on. 
I did a wing with my um, eyeshadow. So I use like a really small brush and I just dip it in the black eyeshadow and I draw it on. And then I also use my finger to put a bit of like glitter kind of eyeshadow mm. on the lid. I also just did my eyebrows and I used a bit of eyebrow gel. This is the one that I use. I got it from Priceline. Kind of cheap. I went for a very smoky look. Yeah, mine's like light compared to yours. It's really nice though. I'm just going underneath now with some shadow. <clears throat> I'm using Tarte highlighter. Jasmine's using Tarte and I'm using Lost Minerals again. I really like this one because it's a really light highlighter. How You know how some of them are warm? I think yeah. yours is a bit in between. Yours is, I really like yours. I'm gonna dab it there. I feel like it applies better with my finger, this one. Put some on my eyelid where my shadow is. I get a small brush and I do this. Oh, she puts it on her nose like this. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's good. And then I also do this. Oh, the lip. I forgot. Yep. And a little bit there. Oh! <laughs> Holy. Hmm. I just licked it off. <laughs> We're, okay, well, we're gonna put fake lashes on, which is actually kind of fun. But like, I feel like I would butcher the hell out of it. I don't want, I don't think I want the feeling of la fake lashes. Yeah, oh. it's not very nice. Look, you just go. <sighs> Should we? We're only watching a movie. No, we're only watching a movie. <laughs> I'm using this mascara. I really like it because it's cheap and it's vegan and it's from the chemist. I have that one too, but I like it. I also have this one. Oh, I want to try the Tarte, but it's like $40. They all do the same thing. No, it doesn't. Okay. It really matters what the spoolie looks like. The what? Spoolie. Oh no, that's an eyebrow thing, eh? I don't know. And there you have it. Lips. I don't have any lipstick. Do you want to use some of my yeah. lip liner? So I've got two options for you. That's all I got for my lip liners. Okay. I've got like a pinky one or like a really dark one. I'm gonna try the dark. I'll do pink. Oh, that's actually a nice color. Mm. We got this one from the dentist. <laughs> and they give it to you? Yeah, they free. came in like a little goodie bag. Mm, yeah. Okay, I've never used spray before. It's a makeup finishing spritz and it's a vegan one, Australis. So let's give this a go. Slightly scared. Ready for it? How far do I? Just I like go wet my fucking. Let <laughs> me go first. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like mum when she's like getting ready. What's your face though? Oh shit. Does it get drips on there? Yeah, it mattifies. Oh, far away. Yeah. It smells like dad. Oh, I love it. I actually kind of like it. it makes you look more dewy. Because it's like more of a wet. Okay. Oh don't, my god. Don't tap it. <laughs> Do this. Oh my god. I feel like we a girl. We are done. I feel like a girl. Now, uh, we have a look at the hair. Oh, oh it smells my. so good. The hair's looking good wow, too. Wow, look at this. I'm going to pick what to wear. I've got these. These are from Dish. They're very baggy. Yeah. So the mission was this morning was to style these. So I'm still kind of like playing around with styling and yeah, like I'm not really the best at it. I want to get out of my comfort zone with fashion. Last time I wore these pants, I actually wore a white shirt and I don't really like myself in white. Like I'm wearing this and I'm like, oh, looking in the viewfinder going, I don't know, I'm just like cringing at my face. What am I going to do on my wedding day? I don't know. So I would jumped on Pinterest and I was like scrolling through and then I saw a girl wearing these like, you know, similar kind of linen pants with a black top. And I was like, oh my God, I want to style these with a black shirt. I'll show you what I've done. I'm actually, I, I love this outfit. I don't know if it's the right outfit for the cinemas. I mean, these pants are really comfy, but it's just a little bit done up. Like you'll see, I'll show you. I actually wore this top for the dress up party. If you watch our brats like, at Sydney, our stepsister's 21st birthday, the brats doll dress up and I wore like the mesh under it. But yeah, I got this one from Yes Style, which is a 
clothing brand I've like never heard of, uh, but I actually kind of like it. I really like this detail. I'm going to put this belt on. Okay, so the belt's on. And the pants. Oh, okay, so for the jewelry, because the belt has a bit of silver in it, I have to dress it up with a bit of silver jewelry, which <laughs> I like gold. So I'm like, I would prefer a, a belt with a bit of gold in it, but I'm just gonna work with what I've got, so. I'm wearing this silver necklace with R on it. And then I'm wearing my silver bracelet, my Pandora bracelet. I've also got, I'm gonna take that scrunchie off, it's like a ugly. Um, this silver chunky bracelet as well. That, and then these are the earrings that I've chose, which is like exactly what I'm wearing, kind of black and silver. This is this whole outfit. Um, and then the linen pants, so yeah. And then the shoes that I'm gonna wear with this are these boots. I'm made for walking. I'll put them on and I'll show you the whole fit. Okay. In case I get cold, this is where it gets a little dressed up for the movies. This is like the only thing that I have that kind of goes really well with this outfit. It's this really long black blazer. So if it gets cold in the cinemas, I can put this on and it still look good. You know how sometimes you put a jumper on over an outfit and just like ruins it? I actually think it doesn't. It almost makes it like better. The back. Like I'm so proud of myself for styling these pants, how I like it. I didn't like how I styled these pants the first time. Um, I think I've improved. I love black. I love black on me. Everyone's got their colors. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I always have something in it because of the top part always looks flat. So I think I'm going to, I've got a black bandana, so I might just pop that in my hair. All right, I'll be back with my hair because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna fiddle around with this. Yeah, this is the bag that I'm wearing as well. It's just a black bag. This is my, I always wear this bag. All right, let's go see what Jasmine thinks of my outfit. It's so hot in my room. I don't have the aircon on, so so I'm gonna go up to Jasmine's room where the aircon is on, and it's gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited. So take this bandana off. I'm not really vibing with it. Yeah, this is my outfit. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, have I seen that top? No, I haven't. Yeah. That's nice. What do you think? Well done. Okay. okay. Jasmine's turn. It's my turn to find an outfit. Okay, so. I do have like an idea. Like I was thinking of wearing a black dress, right? However, my legs are so hairy. I have to wear pants. They're hairy because I'm waiting on getting them waxed next week. Um, so I'm gonna go with the safe option. And I'm thinking these silk pants. My underarms are also hairy. So bringing this top in. I got gifted Vlogmas. Renee gave it to me. <laughs> I love it. I know you do. <laughs> and I haven't even worn it yet because it hasn't been the right temperature. The material is absolutely beautiful. Like, I love it. It's just like, it's got a shimmer to the material. And it's long sleeved. It's like a purple blue color. Freaking love it. It's going to go with black, obviously. And they're kind of the similar material, like that chic look, both the materials. However, I don't have shoes that go with that outfit. So I'm thinking of making it more of like a streetwear vibe, okay? Imagine. I don't know these because the pants are really long so these will just like you'll see these poking at the bottom and because they're brown I've got this beige side satchel I don't know if this will work because it's three colors I'm leave it like open I love this necklace like sparkly and it would go perfectly with this but because I'm making it more of a streetwear I'm like would like a thicker chain go with it better I do like hoops but that's not mm. Yeah, that is not gonna go. Um, earrings. I feel like little earrings. Even the earrings I had on. Oh, I know. I've got these little chain earrings. Yeah, that goes. This is more of a rose gold, but like I've just done two necklaces later. Chunky jewelry. Renee wants a choker. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I feel a bit like a dog. A dog. A bit much. You'd have to take that off. Yeah, you would. It's very 2000s chokers. I think it's nice and not because see, it's too many lines. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Cute, I love it. I'm gonna have shoes. Shoes will work. We're gonna try and get pictures in this out these outfits. Oh my god, why is this so scary to and get photos? It's so scary. Renee inspired me today. She's like, every time you're in a really awkward moment and you're just like, F my life, basically, just think, don't let someone else. What is it again, Renee? 
Alright, here we go. Here comes the motivational speech. If you start to feel uncomfortable, like, oh my god, for instance, taking a photo and you're like, oh, someone's looking over there, like, oh my god. Do you want to live this life that you've got right now forever? Do you want to reach your dreams or do you not want to reach your dreams? Yeah, don't. Are you going to let that one person over there's opinion on you? Yeah, stop you from living what, the life that you want. Yeah, don't let someone else don't. control your life. Like, live for yourself, don't live for others. That's our little motivational quote that we're going by this week. We're trying to think of a quote each week. I know this is so bad, but. <laughs> Okay, so another insecurity of Renee's is her... She got a little bit of back knee. Okay, this is how it looks. When Renee gets out of my way. It works. So nice. Let me just, let me take the camera and I'll film it. That's really nice. I like I'm jealous of your outfit. Yeah? Yup. And this is my hair. Decided to put it in a low bun like I always do with a black bandana. Got my earrings. Sparkleness. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to pack fair. So we have this routine where every time we go to the shops, we get Vietnamese rolls. Um, so this is our pre-snack before gold class because we're gonna have dinner at gold, gold class. We got some good photos and this is the area. We found this area where there's like, like not many people. Public, well done, getting like photos in public. There's just something cringy about it, but yeah. it's all in your head. It's it's a mental game. It's all about how you speak to yourself, I'm just saying. It really helps when you have like the right hype girl behind the camera as well. Mm. Once we got the photos, we did a naughty thing. We went to JD. Wait, $380. Yay. <laughs> all right, the moment that we've all been waiting for. Gold class for the first time with Jasmine. Oh, actually, yeah, we don't think we've been together. No, before. we haven't been together. And, and oh my God, we found the best chair in the house. Yeah, our feet didn't touch the ground. I felt like a kid again. It was really fun. That and felt real Gucci. Oh, by the way, like we didn't film this, but we sat in the wrong chair and oh. a guy brought our cocktails out and was like walking past and trying to find where And we I are. knew it was my cocktail. I got the whiskey sour. Jasmine got the espresso martini. I got the espresso. Jasmine was just like eyeing him off. And then I was like, I'm. Yeah, anyway. He's kind of cute too. I know, he was like, like hi, and he came over and he's like, it's all good, you can yeah. sit there if you want. I'm like, I'm like, no, no, we'll move to our sports. Yeah. But anyway, we got some, uh, these corn chips with guacamole. I don't recommend it. Mm. The chips actually tasted stale. Like, I don't want to no. be a Debbie Downer, but I'm just saying the chips <laughs> were stale. Renee like a chef though. Yeah, um, but like, oh. and the pizzas, they would have laughed because we were literally augured, augured, ordered a margarita pizza with, with no, no cheese. cheese. It's okay, yummy. I'll I like the bread. The bread was nice, but come on. Warm bread know. for $26. Well, the movie just finished three hours later sitting in the car. Yeah, it was honestly one of the worst movies I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was really bad. Like, okay, I know like it's probably like a really good movie for some, but I, I did not want to get attached to any of the characters. It was like the movie was on slow motion, grabbing something. A million bucks in. Yeah. And like, as soon as the movie starts, I was like, okay, this is why it's three hours long. Yeah. The first scene. Okay. The first scene. I was like, what is this? Anyway, there's like mm -hmm. a, some young boys walking past and. When I didn't even flinch moving the camera. <laughs> no, because it's more embarrassing when you're like, oh! At least it gives them a little conversation if they saw us. Anyway. <laughs> so thoughtful of you. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. It. I don't know. Let me know if you enjoyed it, but we didn't enjoy it. We didn't so, enjoy it. But I enjoyed the um, gold class experience. It was really oh, nice. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, it was really was nice. Awesome. Very overpriced, but whatever. Yeah. All right. Sleep, that's what I need. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.